Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Pokepans and welcome to episode 6 of our Pokemon X Randomizer Nuzlocke. If you have just stumbled on this episode and haven't seen the previous 5 episodes, I have left a link to a playlist with all the previous ones down in the description and up in the top right hand corner so you guys can go and catch up right now before you see too many spoilers in this episode. But for those of you who have been keeping up, let us do a quick team recap before we get into today's episode. And as always, I do a misclick as the first thing in the episode. Always handy. So, we have first up Celio, our starter. Blubby with Smackdown, Parabolic Charge, Bubble, and Powder Snow with the Pickpocket ability. We have... Waffle the Sableye with Lick, Bullet Punch, Feather Dance, Nuzzle, and the Aroma Veil ability. Next, we have KD the Aerodactyl with Peck, Nuzzle, Leech Life, Absorb, and the Friend Guard ability. We have Vota the Excadrill with Absorb, Echoed Voice, Force Palm, Bullet Punch, and the Quick Feet ability. We have oops, Malfoy the Bagon with Quick Attack, Fell Stinger, Glare, Twister, and the Torrent ability. And finally, the newest member on our team, we have Nishal, the Gardevoir, with Quick Attack, Vine Whip, Sweet Kiss, Smog, and the Victory Star ability. So that is what our team is looking like right now. As you can see, we did a bit of leveling off screen to get Nishal back up to par with the... Uh, with most of our team here. Waffle and Blobby kind of got a little bit too OP. They got a little bit strong um, while we were doing that from XP share and switch training and stuff. But last episode, we were on our way up to Route 6 here. We got our Route 6 encounter. It was a Venipede. Uh, we will have a look at that once we get through here. I did battle one of these trainers. We got this one here to do. Oh, no, we battled both of those trainers, apparently. So, um, all right, we are up now to the Parfum Palace. Uh, we can get an encounter in Perfume Palace, I believe, somewhere. Maybe in the gardens at the back, I think. So let's uh, let's continue. We've got to go get the poker flute from up here, and then we can get the static Snorlax encounter. Hopefully, we can get that static encounter this episode. Um, there's quite a bit of story to do in this area, I believe. Costs money to go inside. Blah 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 blah. This is how the rich get richer. Here's your entrance fee. Okay. Um, probably. Great. Oh, we don't even have a choice. We just have to. Cost us a thousand bucks to get in there. That's like five Pokeballs. That's nuts. All right, I'm trying to get rid of this meet other players thing that keeps popping up. I don't know how to stop that from happening. If you guys know, please let me know. So now we've got to go get this Poker Flute, uh, hopefully, somehow. Um, there's, there's like a thing you've got to do in the gardens, I believe, to like catch the fur through or something in order to, uh, to do it. But we'll have a look. We'll see. Where is it? Where could it be? Oh no, hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. Uh, last episode, um, we we got a new encounter, we battled some trainers. Um, my Pokemon was I'd be worried sick. Okay, let's let's chat to him, let's chat to him. Okay, it's definitely going to be in the gardens, which is at the back here. Uh, so yeah, last episode we had a few uh, things. Hopefully this episode we can continue the story, get some more encounters. We have a Route 7 encounter to do as well as the uh, Snorlax static. I'll have a look in the back. Now, there's this like weird little maze thing that we got to do here. Let's hope we can do it first time and uh, be nice and quick. I hope there's no trainers here. Is that... Okay, I don't think that's a trainer. I'm not 100% sure who's a trainer and who's not. Where's the Furfru? Come on, Furfru, where you at? Ooh, there's a Pokeball. Almost missed that there, running down here. What we got here? So revive, very useful, very, very useful. All right, hopefully we can find this fur and we can get on with this uh, with this static encounter, the Snorlax that we can get. That'd be very nice to have. What do these trees do anything? No. All right, where is this fur through then? Where is this fur through? Do we have to talk to someone to find it? Ooh, another Pokeball, there we go, there we go. Guard spec. I think that's probably just cell fodder. Um, I tend not to use many of those items in battle, as you may have noticed. X attacks, X specials, X defense, those kind of things. If we're struggling, sometimes I'll use them. There's the fur fruit. Hello. Oof. Let's go get the fur fruit. Please don't run away. Pans, give me a hand. I'll try my best. All right, we've got to, like, uh, get it in there, yeah. Somewhere like over there. 
Over there. Let me know. Okay. Where is Furfru right now? Furfru is there. Okay, now where's Furfru? Okay, you stay. Stay here. Oh. Why? Okay, don't stay here then. Um, Alright, I guess wait here. Alright, this is like a, a weird little puzzle thing. No, stay there for the moment. Okay, so he's just gonna... Okay, so... Follow me. Wait here. Yeah. Got it. Okay, and then we've got we to gotta go this way, right? We've got to push him, and then he'll go upwards. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Come on now. Come now. Okay, so... Yeah, so if you wait down here... You wait here, yeah. And I will wait, and I'll push him up this way. We got it! We got the fur through. It didn't take us very long. Very nice. We finally caught it. Pans, you're amazing. Aren't I just? Aren't I just the best, guys? So yeah, uh, we have replaced TK, the swine up, with, uh, with Gardevoir, as you guys can see from the uh, recap and stuff. Hopefully Gardevoir is going to be able to carry us through this... Um carry us through this game. God of War is a super strong Pokemon. His moveset isn't the best right now, um, but we will be able to uh, we will be able to boost that up. I haven't actually checked to see if we can get any TMs. Let's have a look at what TMs we've got right now. Okay, no nobody can learn. God of War can't learn any of our TMs. Um, we've got Quiver Dance, which could be really good on uh, on a couple of people. Wonder Room doesn't do anything. Yeah, our TMs right now aren't the best. Um, we'll obviously get some more as we go through the game. Right, and we've got to go and uh, rendezvous with this guy somewhere, right? Ooh, hello item. Super potion. That's very useful. Very useful. Definitely worth the uh, getting lost in this maze. Ooh, there's a TM. Speaking of TMs, hello. Oh, it's HM Cut. Okay, I mean, sure. I don't, th I don't think you need those HMs in, in this game. I'm not 100% sure, though. Right, where are we going now? We've got to go uh, rendezvous with him on like the second floor or something. Isn't that what he said? Wasn't really listening to what he was saying. I hate that the camera changes and you have to change direction that you have to press. That's one of the annoying features of this game. Right, we've got to go upstairs. Where are the stairs? Uh, this way, probably. No, I don't know where I'm going. Ah, there's some stairs. Hello. This way? Oh, there's a Pokeball, though. Hello. Amulet coin! Yo, that's going to be super useful. We can give that to, uh, to Blubby right now. So we'll give that amulet coin. Give that to Blubby. There we go. Very nice. Amulet coin is a great item to get. For sure. Not here. Where are we gotta go? I was totally not paying attention to where we have to go. Ooh. Is it here? It might have been here. Yeah, it was here. Cool, cool. I was going the right way. It's all good, guys. It's all good. I know what I'm doing. It's all good. I'm totally not lost. Alright. Uh, you know, never watched fireworks alone with a boy before. Ooh. Romantic date time right now, guys. Romantic date time. Watching some Dratinis go to the bathroom. Okay. Come on. Come on. I'm not... Can we just please get the poker flu? I want to go catch that Snorlax, man. I'm going to try and buy some uh, Great Balls um, before we encounter the Snorlax. Because if we get a, a good static encounter, I believe it's at a good level as well. But we'll see. Come on. Come on, I don't care about the fireworks. Ay ay ay. Wow, that was amazing. Never want to forget this. And that was a wonderful fireworks show. I assume you'd be satisfied with that. Yeah, 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 we are. Very satisfied. Oh, I almost forgot. The poker flute. That's right, we need to wake up Snorlax. 
We'll get it. Uh, it was Shabu Castle's treasure, but I took it as payment for a loan. A rich guy like me and a common person like that just didn't go together. Give it to them. Here's the poker flute. Very nice. So we paid basically a thousand bucks for that poker flute, um, which isn't too bad. Always return what you borrow. That's very important. Uh, can't imagine how stressful running this place is for him. That may be so, but oh, that's right, Mr. Butler. Do you know anything about Mega Evolution? Uh, Mysterious Stone High. Um, okay, what are we going to get here? Bide. Okay, it's a TM. Not the best TM. Uh, we're not going to use that because it's a. <laughs> it's not good. Not a good move. It's a really scary move to be used against us, but we're not going to be using that move anytime soon. Okay, now we can go and wake up Snorlax. So I'm going to run to the town before we do that to uh, buy some more Pokeballs. I think we only have like 10 or 12 Pokeballs, so we definitely want to go, want to go and get some more balls. This way, right? Yeah. Okie doke. So uh, someone did mention uh, in, during the chat for the last episode that the encounter that we got might have been a static. Ooh, hold on, we need to. I, I don't want to run through the grass on the way back. So, um, yeah, the encounter that jumps out of the bushes might have been a static. But I did ask a few other people who uh, have done Nuzlocke of X and Y, and uh, they didn't consider it a static. So we're not going to consider it a static either. Um, so that's just going to be our encounter for that route. So we're going to go and buy some Pokeballs. All right, buy. Uh, let's get, how many Great Balls can we get? We can only get three. Okay, I guess we'll get three Great Balls. Uh, and that's all we got. Uh, let's see if we can sell anything. Did we get anything that we could sell, I wonder? Oh yeah, we got the Guard spec, didn't we? 350, sure. Uh, I don't think we have anything else that we can sell. Oh, Dire hit, I guess we can sell two of those. Okay, we got a little bit more money now. Um, we'll keep that money in reserve. And hopefully we don't come up against anyone too OP as uh, Snorlax. But we do want power. We do want power. Right now in our team, I would say Sableye is kind of replaceable. It is really good. Um, having a ghost type on your team is obviously uh, a bonus. Because you can just switch it into normal moves. And fighting moves. And they're like not very effective. Or immune. Um, but yeah, Sableye is probably the most replaceable Pokemon right now. Snorlax can be grumpy when I wake up. I might attack, play the flute now, but you ready to stop it? Yes, I am. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Snorlax encounter. Static encounter, guys. What are we going to do? What are we going to get? Hopefully we get some power. Snorlax opened his eyes wide. <gasps> here we go. Here we go. Something good. Come on. Okay, it's a Snorlax. Which is weird. It shouldn't be a Snorlax, because it's a static encounter. And it should be randomized. But, what we're going to do, I'm going to check the file after today's episode, make sure static encounters are randomized. Um, I'm going to count this as a Snorlax. If they're not randomized, I will re-randomize the static encounters. Um... And we're just going to keep the Snorlax because there's nothing else we can do. Um, that's really awkward, but there we go. Like I said, nothing we can do about that. Uh, okay, so we're going to... Let's uh, let's bubble the Snorlax because Snorlax has good special defense, so the bubble shouldn't do too much. And we can switch into someone who has Nuzzle. I think, I think uh, Sableye has Nuzzle. Snorlax is really good, by the way. I'm really happy with the Snorlax, but it's just weird that it is a Snorlax. It shouldn't be. Right, let me just check moves for Waffle. Yeah, Waffle does have Nuzzle. So we'll switch in. We'll get the Paralysis on the Snorlax. Yeah, there's definitely something up with Static Encounters. Um, it definitely shouldn't be a Snorlax. If, they're all, if they are randomized and it was a Snorlax, that's crazy odds. Um, yeah. There's no, I mean, we're going to catch it. Because it could legitimately be randomized. Um, it could legitimately be randomized to a Snorlax. So, I'm not going to not catch it, you know? 
I will I will check the file once um once I've done playing this episode. Oh, it's got a berry. Oh, we didn't steal the berry. That's annoying. Uh, oh, because we've already got the uh, we've already got the amulet coin on it now. I was gonna say pickpocket should have stolen the citrus berry when he constricted us, but uh, we're actually holding amulet coin with Blubby now, so we can't pickpocket things. Yeah, so this could legitimately be a randomized encounter to the Snorlax. Um, I will uh, I will check it before the episode goes up today, and I will post in the comments whether it was randomized or not. Uh, and then you guys can let me know what you think, whether it should be... Whether we should keep the Snorlax, even though it wasn't randomized. Or if it is randomized, you guys all know that. Uh, Alright, let's throw a Great Ball. It's paralyzed in red health. Um, and then you guys are going to have to let me know what we think of Snorlax. One shake. Two shakes. Three shakes. Ah, oh, damn, I thought we were going to get first ball. Thought we were going to get first ball there. We'll use another great ball here. Let's use another great ball. All right, here we go, here we go. One shake. Ooh, hoo -hoo, he's being uh, he's being a bad boy. He doesn't want to stay in the ball. Uh, all right, let's, let's throw a Pokeball at it this time. I'm going to save that last great ball. I think we can get this with a Pokeball. All right, come on, Snorlax. Behave. Stay in the ball. One shake. Two shakes. <sighs> I do want to get the Snorlax, man. I do want to get the Snorlax. Snorlax is awesome. Uh, should we try a Premier Ball? Let's try a Premier Ball. See if it wants to be fancy. Snorlax and a Premier Ball will be sweet. Come on, Snorlax. Come on. <sighs> Doesn't like the Premier Balls. Does not like the Premier Balls. All right, so he's got Lock On. Constrict, Power Swap, and was it Crush Claw? No, we don't want to attack. I'm going to try that last Premier Ball on it. I do, I think Snorlax at a Premier Ball will be really, really cool to have. So let's, come on, come on Snorlax, stay in. Does not like the Premier Balls, did not like the Premier Balls. All right, let's try another Pokeball. We got 23 Pokeballs, so. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on Snorlax, one shakes, two shake. All right, Snorlax is a tough one, man. He's paralyzed in red health, and he's still not, still not staying in. Come on, come on, Snorlax, behave. Snorlax used Lock On. Okay, let's try that. Let's try that last Great Ball now. Come on, Snorlax, paralyzed red health. Come on, come on. Wow, wow. It's Crush Grip, not Crush Claw. So his moveset's not the best, but it's also not bad. We also don't know what his ability is. Could have a really OP ability. One shake, two shakes, three shakes, come on. Yo, Snorlax was caught. Very, very nice. Right, let us go check out Snorlax in the PC and we can heal up our team as well. There we go. KD grid level 16. Very nice. Snorlax data added to the Pokedex. I mean, I'm hoping that I have randomized statics and this was just like a coincidence. Oh, I did not nickname him. All right. I don't know where the nickname person is. But, um. Uh, oh. The only thing I can say with that Pokefu, you're uh, playing lovely. Uh, not as much as I like to uh, yeah, I guess so. Still, your playing sounded better back in the day. I let you take care of the flute, so be sure to practice more. He's a weird guy, isn't he? Uh, okay. All right, let's run to the Poker Center. Let's have a look at Snorlax. We do have a Route 7 encounter as well. Ooh. All right. So we've got a Route 7 encounter coming up because that was a static Snorlax encounter. Say, so let's organize boxes. Let's have a look at the Snorlax. It has Poison Heal. Yo, that's awesome. That is real awesome. So it's got a not a great nature. Um, up special attack, down speed. But Poison Heal on a Snorlax is really good. Really good. Now that could definitely come on our team. I don't know who it would replace. What do you guys think? Again, we're going to keep it in the box for today. You guys can let me know what you think. Does Snorlax come on our team or do we leave it in the PC? 
Oh yeah, while we're here, let's check out the Venipede as well. Alright, it's got Toxic Boost. What does Toxic Boost do? Powers up physical attacks when the Pokemon is poisoned. It's a poison type and it can't get poisoned. Great. <laughs> Fire Spin, Toxic Spikes, Twin Needle and Rock Throw. I mean, the moveset's not too bad. Toxic Spikes is nice, but Toxic Boost on a poison type? Two poison immunity abilities there though, pretty much. Uh, cool. Alright, so yeah, let me know guys. Do you think Snorlax gets on the team? If so, who does it replace? I'm thinking Bagon isn't doing much on the team right now. Especially because his moveset is pretty poor. Okay, let's... Can we buy more Pokeballs? Yeah, we had 1500. Let's buy some more Pokeballs because we got another encounter here. Uh, if we got... If we sold 600 worth of stuff, we could get... Alright, let's just buy seven more Pokeballs. There we go. There we go. Alright, let's go get our Route 7 encounter as well. And uh, hopefully we can get something good. And since we are going to get an encounter, let's put uh, Waffle at the front here. Because he does have Nuzzle. Nuzzle is incredibly useful when it comes to catching Pokemon. So we definitely want to have that guy on our uh, the front of our party. Alright, so here we go. Route 7 encounter. What are we going to get? Fingers crossed for some power. Shup it. Ghost type. Got a ghost type already in in uh, Sableye. All right, we'll nuzzle the shop it. It's pretty frail, I believe. So shop it's not great, not great. Considering we have a Sableye already, but shop it does evolve into Bennett. So, all right, I think yeah, I think we're good. Let's go for another nuzzle just to get it down to red. Um. We, I mean, we can have a look. It's got Aqua Jet, which is good. Priority Water type move. Uh, we don't obviously know what its ability. Ooh, that was close. Don't know what its ability is or anything. Had a berry. Special attack has gone up. Okay, let's just chuck a Pokeball at it. We should definitely be able to get this with a normal Pokeball. So our encounters have been Shuppet and Snorlax. Snorlax is awesome, but I'm just really worried that for some reason the file hasn't randomized statics for some like somehow. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll have to just open the file up again and have a look. Alright, Malfoy level 15, learn a good move. Pursuit, not a bad move, not a bad move. Definitely better than... Ooh, I don't even know. Maybe it's not better than anything. Felsting is really good if you can kill someone with it. But Pursuit might just be better. Uh, glare, obviously we want to keep. Glare is great. Quick Attack is really good. I think we will get rid of Felstinger for Pursuit. We can always relearn Felstinger um, if we want it later on in the game. And we got the Shuppet. Cool. Awesome. Give a nickname to Shuppet. Yeah, we will call Shuppet... Uh, let's call him Ghosty. Very original name. I know. I know. I am very original. And now let's go check out Shuppet. Uh, I believe we can check him out. Oh, just in there. Oh, hello. I hope I don't want to battle. Oh, okay, we're just going to the Pokemon Daycare. That's fine. I was going to go in there for the PC anyway. Uh, okay. How about you, Pans? Maybe I will. Alright. Tiano, wait up. Do I hope we don't have to battle those guys. Okay, let's have a look at the Shuppet then, shall we? Organized boxes. Let's have a look at Shuppet. Shuppet has Trick or Treat, Stored Power. Stored Power is awesome. Aqua Jet, Clear Smog, and it has Tangled Feet. Raises evasion if the Pokemon is confused. Not bad. Not a great nature. Down attack, up defense. Not the best. Um, Trick or Treat adds Ghost type. Stored Power is fine if it's got a boosting move. Aqua Jet. I mean, it's a fine Pokemon. It's not going to get on a team. I don't think it's better than Sableye. Especially because Sableye is um, like, uh, only weak to Fairy. Alright, let's put Blubby back out in front here. Because if we do get into any trainer battles, we can earn some extra cash with that amulet coin. Alright, so that's our Route 7 encounter. Um, oops, let's get out of the grass. Uh, where do we have to go now? I'm not 100% sure. Oh, cutscene again. Of course. Did you know about this building? It's called the Battle Chateau. Okay, don't care about that. Okie doke. Oh, this sounds like it's going to be a battle. 
Uh, oh, it's a tr it's a team up battle. Okay. All right. Double battle. Double battle with Shauna. Challenged by Tieno and Trevor. Sent out Electrode and Rog and Roller. Okay, that's a little bit scary. Electrode is going to be super effective against my Blubby. But we are level 22. Crobat's got Mold Breaker as well. We can actually just go for Bubble here. Which should take out the Rog and Roller and do some damage to the Electrode. I don't think the Electrode will, uh, will take out our Blubby. Oh, it's got Fusion Bolt though. Come on, go for the Crobat. Don't go for me. You went for me. Oh man, that's scary. That was scary. I was I was really worried we were gonna get taken out there. Okay, Rog and Roller is dead. Nice. Good, good. Blubby gained some XP. Uh got Gore guys. Okay, so they're both super effective against me here. Um Who can take okay, let's put Voter in. Voter is a good one here. Voter is a good one, because he's probably gonna go fusion bolt on me again. So switching in the extra drill is very nice. Fusion Bolt doesn't affect Voter. Crobat used Eruption, which will be super effective on the Gorgeist. Nice. And we can Bullet Punch that Electrode next turn. Uh-oh. Ooh, bye-bye, Crobat. Oh, it didn't quite. didn't quite. Okay, so we can Bullet Punch uh, the Electrode. Actually, would Bullet Punch be better on the Gorgeist? Now, we'll just kill the Electrode with the priority move. Not very effective. Electrode fainted. Awesome. Vota grew up a level. Very nice. Very nice. That's a lot of XP, actually. 63 attack. One still in Safeguard. Uh, no, keep old moves, please. Safeguard is not a good move. Blobby grew to level 23. Blobby is getting a little bit OP right now. Nishal grew to level 15. Yes, Nishal. Learn a move. Snore. <laughs> Learn a good move, please. Aeroblast. Hell yeah, Crowbar. That should take out the Gorgeist for sure. Very nice. Critical hit as well. Easy battle, guys. Easy battle. No worries whatsoever. Voto gained a bunch more XP. Blobby gained some more XP. Waffle grew up a level. Waffle wants to learn present. No, that's a bad move. <laughs> what is with these bad movesets? The bad level up movesets, man. 6,000 we got that for that. That's nuts. 6k uh okay i guess do you guys heal us up or i guess we didn't take that much damage anyway uh okay so we got to go through this cave now right wait is this another encounter again this is going to be a new encounter again so we'll put waffle back at the front here because of nuzzle and being immune to normal moves and fighting moves always a handy thing okay yeah connecting cave here we go what are we going to get What are we going to get? Come on. I believe you can get encounters here. Yeah, you can. Okay, cool. Big encounter. Come on, be good. Nuzleaf. Dark grass type. We haven't got a grass type. Obviously, we've got Sableye as our dark type. Let's nuzzle it. Get it paral paral paralyzed. Nice. It's got rollout. Little bit scary. But I'm hoping the paralysis will stop it. Oh, we can also feather dance it, so the rollout does way less. Okay. Attack harshly fell. Rollout hit again. Uh, I might just feather dance it a couple more times as well. Because rollout does get very scary very quickly. This is the third rollout hit. We'll feather dance it one more time, and then his attack will be at minus six. I guess we'll throw a Pokeball next turn. Or do we just do we heal up, maybe? No, we should be okay without healing up. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to throw a Pokeball at it. Just so that maybe we don't have to take that last, or the fourth rollout hit. Or the fifth rollout hit, I'm not sure. One shake, two shakes, three shakes, first ball. Yo, first ball, we got ourselves a Nuzzleaf. Very nice, very nice indeed. Waffle gained some XP, rest of our team. Voter grew to level 19. Nuzzleaf's data added to the Pokedex. Awesome, awesome. Registration was complete. Uh, yeah, what should we name Nuzzleaf? 
Should we name Nuzleaf? Uh, I'm going to name Nuzleaf after somebody who uh, did donate in the last stream that we had. Logic. Thank you very much, Logic, for the donation and the support on the channel. Very much appreciated. Now, let's go and check out Nuzleaf in the Poker Center. And we'll also heal up our team because we did take some damage there. I know there are some trainers we can take on on this route, but we're going to leave that for between episodes training up our new Pokemon. And once we do check out Nuzleaf, that is going to be the end of today's episode. If you have enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like down below. Comment with what you think. Do we put Snorlax or Nuzleaf on our team? Let me know what you think, guys. If we do, who do we take out? Um, I know I said uh, Sableye would be a good person to take out, but he's been really useful in helping us catch Pokemon, so maybe we don't quite take him out yet. So let's have a look at Nuzleaf. Uh, yeah, uh, so it's got Rollout, Grassy Terrain, Smog, and Spite with the Water Veil ability. What does Water Veil do? Prevents Pokemon from getting burned. That's actually pretty useful. Uh, it's a neutral nature, so not, not up, not down. Not bad. Not bad. It could be worse, right? And it can evolve, too, into Shiftery, which could get an even better ability. So that is going to be today's episode. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you have, like I said, please be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know if Snorlax should come on the team in the comments. Who would you replace? And I will, uh, I will check to see if the file has had the static counters randomized. It definitely should have done. Um, but we'll, I'll have to just see, and then you guys can let me know what we think we should do with Snorlax then. So yeah, that's the episode today. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Goodbye!